Hi, I'm Anthony Parker, owner of ASP Enterprises LLC, a financial services company, and ASP Logistics, a delivery service provider, and recent retiree of Consumers Energy. Also, I am a member of the Jackson Juneteenth Committee. To be successful as a nonprofit organization, one must possess or acquire the skill and ability to network with a wide variety of community members and organizations. They must also have a tremendous amount of perseverance, resilience, and determination. These skills exemplify the work of Diane Washington, of Young People of Purpose, also known as YPOP. I present to you, Diane Washington. Tell me a, a little bit about Diane. Who, who is she and kind of how long have you been in Jackson? And kind of give us, give us a, a take okay. of who you are. All right, I've been in Jackson um, mostly all my life, over 60 years actually. I'm a wife, uh, a mother, a wife of Starlin Washington, who's a pastor. Okay. And uh, we have six children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. And I, I love this community and I have, you know, started out as a young person being active in the community. I, I kind of started out as a, a teenage um, real estate person. I bought property and um, our houses and uh, rented out to kids as an as a 18-year-old and it just kind of expanded. Okay. You know, I continue to do that um, and it just made me uh, love my community more and love the youth that I uh, eventually started working with. Wow. And just a little bit more, I, I'm from down south. Gobble, Missouri? Yeah, Gobble, <laughs> Missouri. It's a show me state. <laughs> and um, just, just having uh, awesome examples of people in my family. You know, our history and our roots are important as mm -hmm. being who we are. And our family, my grandfather being a contractor and, you know, helping folks down in Missouri and coming up to Michigan and, and, and my father and mother. I just am mm. surrounded by wonderful people that have helped to make me who I am. So uh, thanks for that. Yeah, that was, that was great. Uh, let's transition a little bit into um, the business world or the nonprofit world that okay. you're in right now. And um, when did you decide, Diane, uh, to go into uh, this no nonprofit or the business uh, world? Well, like I mentioned, the business world was really at a young age, but the nonprofit came as I was volunteering, you know, working with youth, and I was working with the schools and working in after school programs, and then we started our own programming, working with churches, and I worked with the Jackson Public Schools, the Housing Commission, you know, and just working with youth and seeing the excitement mm -hmm. that they had, but at the same time, knowing the um, atmosphere around them mm -hmm. was negative. Mm -hmm. There was like negative atmospheres about our youth, them not being positive or them being, you know, negative. And so I, I wanted to make sure that I represented our youth in the way that I also saw them, in the positive way and what they could bring to the community, all of their assets and all of their wonderful knowledge because our youth is our future. Yeah, and so you mentioned that your husband is a pastor, and yes. so I imagine the nonprofit. I mean, that spirit of giving and yes. uh, was 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 a part of you Absolutely. becoming who you are, yes. uh, who you are today. Yeah, and and just that ministry, that mission, that passion. You know, just being instilled mm -hmm. in me. You know, that's nothing that I just came up of myself, but it was instilled in me. You know, to move forward and push forward and and make that happen. Make those dreams come true, make the visions come true. Mm -hmm. What was the process like, right? When you went from that nonprofit and you started to working with the kids, how, how did that process go? In some of our classes, we had like little business classes mm. and the kids would talk about what they wanted to be, what they aspired to be, you know? And so that led me to write the book, Annie's Amazing Art Venture, because the youth um, were like, well, I wanted to have this. And somebody said, I wanted to start the Holy Moly Donut Shop. And wow. it was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to take this opportunity to try to share some of the aspirations of our youth as well. So how was that writing that book? 
Well, a lot of it came from my own experiences of mm -hmm. traveling. You know, going to Africa and South Africa and seeing Mandela when I was there and wow. um, seeing the greatness of Africa, but also seeing the poverty at the same time. And it kind of inspired me to, um, Clara in the book is from South Africa and the relationship between the United States and South Africa and how all cultures were coming together in the book just to love one another with their differences and not yeah. being able to, you know, recognizing other people's differences and, and, and accepting them, you know, yeah. uh, loving them. And so those are one of the pillars, culture is one of the pillars of uh, YPOP, art, business, culture and service, the ABCs of success. And so that's Annie, Barney, Claire and Sam. In the book, they represent those things. So just um, Native Americans, um, Penny is in Native American. It's because I went to uh, Omaha, Nebraska as a missionary and did vacation Bible school with the Native Americans there and also with the Sudanese children there. And so all of these experiences of my travels you know, to Costa Rica, Puerto Rico, and other places that I went and had experiences, I brought them back in the book. And so all of these children and their ethnicities and the things, the businesses that they wanted to do and their aspirations, like it's art because Annie in the book was a low self-esteem young lady, didn't think much of herself. Mm -hmm. But the youth around her inspired her. And the work that they did not only helped Annie to come out of her shell and be a great woman, they all became great helping one another. So that was the kind of the moral and gist of the book, them being able to be the leaders to help each other out. But thinking about all of that knowledge and information uh, that you've taken in over the years, would you recommend that, uh, uh, in particular, black uh, folks, would you recommend them to get involved with a nonprofit, either get involved with like one like yours or even create, create their own? What, what's your uh, advice for those uh, folks that was thinking about nonprofits, or maybe not thinking about nonprofits. Well, I, I believe that a nonprofit is something that you have to have a passion for, okay. a vision for, a love for, okay. a love for your community to be able to go even when you're not funded. Okay. You know, a lot of times, especially our African American youth businesses are not funded mm -hmm. as we should be. Mm -hmm. You know, we need we need support. You know, and that's why we try to reach out more. But I do definitely recommend a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. If someone wants to get out there and, and do that work, I definitely recommend it. And um, I appreciate it because it has helped me to um, be able to reach out to others and others reach out to us. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think a mutual helping of one another to be able to make us be successful. Yeah. Do you think there should be more black nonprofit organizations in, uh, in I, I Jackson? Do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do. I believe there's a door, there's an opportunity. We have some wonderful nonprofits going on right now in the city. A lot of good things are going on in Jackson about nonprofits. So I would love to see more. Okay. So in today's culture, Diane, mm -hmm. so, um, you know, we talk about networking, right. but there's a difference between uh, networking and knowing what people know. So how important is it uh, just not telling people, but showing them um, and mentoring them? Mm -hmm. Well, matter of fact, one of the youth in the book, Barry, was a mentor to young people. So I use these um, characters to help our youth understand that mentoring is important. Not only do you be that example, but you share that with them on a personal basis as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentor them in knowledge, you mentor them in life skills, you mentor them in families, you know, showing mm -hmm. our youth what it is that they need to be when they grow up. So it's important for us to be truthful, honest, uh, respectful in that role. I think you just nailed it there. So. And being a mentor, it, it's not always about talking about the rosy things that yes. happen and how, yes. but being a mentor is talking mm -hmm. about some of the things that, that, that didn't go so well right. and being honest and yes. open about it and yes. saying, no, I didn't get here just riding on a magic carpet. There were exactly. some, some tough times. We, we show them that life is hard. Yeah. You know, um, um, struggles are hard, but if you take them on, you know, um, one step at a time, you can be successful, you know, and use 
other people's story. You don't have to make some of the same mistakes that other people made. There you go. People show you that in life, no, this, that's actually not the way I want to go. Yeah. You know, I saw this and I saw that happen to them. I don't want to go that way. Yeah. So we let them know that we made mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, we veered off on the wrong track, but we were able to make it back. So, um, and there were people in our lives that helped us to get back on track. Mm -hmm. So we want to be that person in their lives. So how important is networking uh, in trying to build a business, whether it's a nonprofit business or a for-profit business? How important is networking? I believe that networking with the right people. I. I make a special effort to try to surround our youth with people that are positive mm -hmm. in our community to, for them to network with, for them to associate with, that's going to give them the skills, the type of family, the type of, um, you know, lifestyle mm -hmm. that they would like to see. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I, I know they're going to see things that are negative, but we're going to make our effort to make sure that they're surrounded by people that can actually help them you know, that it can have to lead the way people that have been successful in their own lives or not successful and have turned around. Mm -hmm. Like in the book, mm -hmm. Bucky was a bully in the book, mm -hmm. but Bucky turned around his life and started Bucky's Bait Shop, mm -hmm. you know, and so um, we showed the ch children that, you know, you're not always going to be right at the yeah. beginning, but uh, network and, and build and, and build relationship with people that can be, an, be a help to you. That's awesome, yeah, and, and that is, and that's and part of that is people that look like you and people yeah. that don't look like you, exactly. people that think like you and people yeah. that don't think like you. Yeah. So it sounds like you've done a wonderful job just kind of looking around of all the stuff that, you've, uh, you know, that you have here in all of your experiences. So again, this has been a uh, wonderful conversation. Thank you. Uh, I think you've enlightened a lot of people about uh, young people of purpose known yeah. as YPOP. Yes. And so um, I'd say come out, support y YPOP, talk to Diane and uh, yeah. get some, uh, some good knowledge. Thanks again, Diane. Thank you again. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, thanks.